Hello, in this video I'm going to go over the features of the WP Job Manager Visibility Plugin to kind of give you a quick rundown so you can understand what it's for, what it can be used for, and what the different possibilities are. So what you will see right here that we're looking at now is just a demo site that I've set up. The WP Job Manager Visibility Plugin is meant for showing or hiding fields and that is actual, you know, job or resume fields, as you can see here, based on the current user viewing the site. So to give you a quick detail of that, you'll see here, if you look, we have compensation. You'll see compensation, it says next to it, register to view. That is because I set up in the configuration these kind of placeholders to show here for an anonymous viewer. So on this first example right here, this is what an anonymous user would see whenever they are viewing the site. So they're not going to be able to see compensation. They're not going to be able to see signing bonus. If they click on the apply for job, it'll actually take them to a register page, not to, you know, to actually apply for the page. Now this is for an anonymous user. So I also set up configuration for an employer on the same listing. So you'll see here, and I've logged into these already just to give you the example to show you real quick. So over here, this is what it would look like as an employer. So what you'll notice is I configured it to not show the actual compensation, the signing bonus, or the apply for job, because technically, as you would think about it, if you're an employer and you're looking at someone else's listing, you're probably not going to, you know, as a site owner, you're not going to want them to be able to view the compensation, certain other things. So that's why I set it up like this to where you can't actually see any of that. The next one is going to be what it looks like to a candidate. So that would be somebody that submits a resume or signed up on your site as a candidate. So as you can see here now, candidate, you can see the compensation, you can see the signing bonus, <clears throat> and you'll see over here, phone, candidates are restricted from seeing telephone numbers. I also created a separate page for it to go to for the apply for job. So if they click on this, you can see, sorry, but application candidate has been temporarily disabled. And I'll go through the packages integration in another video. I just wanted to show you real quick how this actually works. So let's scoot on over to the actual configuration and we'll see how that's set up. So as you can see here, we have this set up so that I was me trying to get my video recording done. Um, so you'll see here we have our groups and then we have our visibilities. So these are all the visibilities. So you'll see as anonymous and I'll go in here real quick and show it to you. In another video, I'll go through setting all this up to explain how it's done, um, but you'll see application for anonymous users, I set it to go to the register page. And then we'll go to candidates, you'll see here on candidates, you'll see that we have the visible fields set for job description, signing bonus value, and job compensation. That's because we have this other group right here, which we can create custom groups that also includes the candidates, reason being is that on this one, it has a higher priority, a uh, higher number that is, which is actually a lower priority, um, that hides the job description. So that means everybody except admin and employees hides the job description. But on here, if we're a candidate, we want them to be able to see it, so I added that on there. So I'll go ahead and go into this real quick and just show you how this is configured. And you'll see there, so the application, if you remember when I clicked on the apply button, it took me to that page, and that's specific for candidates. Now, if we go back, we'll come in here, and then we see we have employers, which we have it set to hide those fields. And instead of putting a placeholder in there to say, you know, register to view like we would with the anonymous or the other ones, we leave those blank, which causes those fields to not show at all. And then on the next one, you'll see we have here all except admin and employers. You'll see we now have a bunch of different configuration. And as you can see, you can use your own HTML in here as well which is completely supported so that you can customize and design the output exactly as you would like. So here you'll see this is all the configuration for everybody except admin and employers. And let's go back over there and look at this and you'll see we have register to view, register to view, register to view. Please register to view full job description. And that's based on this configuration. Now you'll notice that group that we have there, all admin, all except admin and employers, that's a custom group that I set up myself over here. Now, you can, in the Visibilities plugin, you can create unlimited number of custom groups. And whenever you're creating those groups, you also have the option to select other groups that can then be grouped inside of a group, ultimately giving you a very fine, detailed 
configuration that you can really configure it as however your heart desires. If you have my packages plugin installed as well, there will be another meta box below here, just like the rolls one, where you can select packages for the um, either the visibilities plugin from mine or from the WooCommerce paid listings packages. And that'll associate that group with anybody who has one of those packages. And I'll go through that in another video. Let's go over the settings real quick, show you what kind of features are available in there. And you'll see, as you can see here, you can enable it on job or resumes. On the job ones, the feature is also included in here to customize the permalink for listings. As you can see here, we can customize the structure using any of the meta, meta keys that are available for um, in the fields. We can also use one that's here that's random. Uh, if you just put in random and you just leave it at that, or if you just left it blank, it will actually generate a random 40 character um, unique ID that will be used as the permalink for that listing. This is useful if you want to hide you know, candidate names, uh, companies, all that information that you don't actually want available in the URL because you're going to be hiding it on the site. Um, and you'll see here we have some other options for showing the job description. Um, instead of hiding everything, we can show an excerpt, which is actually what we were seeing. If, if you remember looking at that on this one, you'll see here this is just the excerpt of it. Whereas the actual one, you'll see that's the full one. Let's go back over here. Resumes. Same thing with resumes. You can use custom permalinks for those as well. You can use any of the meta keys on here that are available. And then you also have these other options for configuring different fields like the education, experience, and links. Uh, you can even pre prepend a URL to any of the links that are output, which would allow you to track any outgoing links, anything like that if you'd like as well. Uh, we also have caching that's completely built into here. Uh, this speeds up the site about 10 times to you know, reduce any unnecessary queries. I absolutely recommend and suggest that you keep this enabled. The only reason I would suggest disabling this would be for testing or to see if, if you're having a problem, disable it just to see what's going on. Um, but in normal production sites, it should always be running. You can of course download the backups, restore backups, import backups. Um, we also have some debugging stuff on here as well. Uh, you can enable post debug, show you on the each page, disable heartbeat. Uh, this is one of the major ones right here, this admin exception. Uh, by default, if a user is an administrator, any field visibility configuration will be bypassed. Disable admin exception to process configurations for admin. That means that when this is checked and it is, admin exception is disabled, it means that the administrator user, if a user is viewing the site and they are an administrator and they either have a configuration for a user or for a group, it is going to be processed. You can uncheck this and save that to allow admins to see everything. And if you just wanted to preview it, you could just add this query to the end of the URL. Completely up to you. Uh, when you initially install the plugin, it will install those default groups. You can click here again if you want to install that, uh, your licensing, and all that such. Um, and like I said, all the groups can be configured. You can add as many as you would like with priorities, more stuff. And I'll, I'll go into that in another detail in another video. But that's the general gist of the features available in the visibility plugin. I uh, hope to see you in some of the other videos. We'll go through these all these features in details. Thanks.